Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Chen. Believe it or not, the human body is designed to live 120 years that are healthy and fulfilling. But today, most of us fall short of that mark and quite often suffer from many diseases. The average lifespan of a man is about 70 years of age and that of a woman about 75. So is it about time we ask ourselves how we can live healthier, live better and longer? famous, but ever so energetic, so vibrant, and forever young. How do they age without getting old? Just to maintain the youthful bloom and vitality, the rich and famous movie stars and politicians from the world over fly all the way to Switzerland for placenta injections. Undeniably, placenta injections has dramatic effects, and they do come at extra costs. Because of time and price, many look for cheaper alternatives uh, in local beauty saloons where unregistered products are often administered by unauthorized medical providers. Now, before I introduce you an alternative to prevent aging, let's find out how aging, particularly how premature aging comes about. Genetically, we are programmed to live 120 years. Primary aging is the result of apoptosis, which is the natural death of cells, regulated by the genes called cell death genes. On record, the longest living human usually lived to around 120 to 130 years of age, but most of us never get past the century mark. Cellular wear and tear, with decades of physical stress and insult, usually make an individual age much earlier, and organ damage caused by free radicals makes our life shorter and disease-ridden. Secondary Aging What is a free radical? A free radical is an atom or molecule that has an unpaired electron and is very unstable and reactive. Atoms and molecules are only stable when their electrons are paired. Unpaired electrons bring about secondary aging. Where do free radicals come from? Stress can generate a lot of free radicals in our body to the extent that our immune cells are damaged and thus our immunity is weakened. Exposure to ultraviolet light, poor dietary habits, smoking and pollution are also the cause of excessive free radicals damaging our body. In its quest to stabilize itself, the free radical will try to steal an electron from an adjacent molecule and to do itself makes the adjacent molecule unstable. This is the beginning of a chain reaction of electron theft. Cell membrane are particularly vulnerable. With continued insults, the cell membrane will be damaged and disintegrate, resulting in the death of the cell. Accumulated damaging of the cells will result in organ damage, causing organ dysfunction or diseases. Free radicals also attack other cellular parts such as the mitochondria, which is the power supply of a cell. The mitochondria converts all proteins, carbohydrates and fat we eat to ATP, which is the cell basic unit of energy, and damage to the mitochondria can deplete the cell of its power supply. The lysosomes are the waste disposal system of the cell and damaged by free radicals can impair the cell ability to clean up toxic and harmful waste materials. The nucleus of the cell contains the entire genetic blueprint to help the cell manufacture enzymes, carry out a specific role as needed to heal, repair and regenerate. Damage to the genetic material will not only make the cell unable to perform its function, it will also cause mutation in the genes, which may lead to cancer. With continued attacks, the cell or antioxidant system will be unable to cope with the continuous damage and die. Soon, humiliated cellular damage in an organ will impair the organ and its ability to function, resulting in disease. The skin is the largest organ in our body. It is exposed to many environmental insults. Ultraviolet light exposure causes the skin to generate free radicals, which damage the collagen and elastin in the skin, causing wrinkles, 
lines, and skin sagging, as collagen and elastin are important to the structure of the skin. Free radicals attack the melanocytes, which produce melanin, skin pigment, and bring about skin pigmentation and dark spots that are associated with aging. Free radicals attack virtually every cell and organ in the body, causing degeneration of our organs and leading to diseases such as arthritis, diabetes, sexual impotence, and Alzheimer's. We may make every effort to stay young, like maintaining a proper diet, taking vitamins, exercising regularly, going for yoga. But these measures are not sufficient to prevent free radical damage and rejuvenate the cells let alone preventing secondary aging.